Shalom, giving all glorification, honor, and praise unto Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Gray Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who are out here ruling and teaching the church well. And salutations to the elect of Yasharala Israel, the Bayashah Dawada, which is the house of David. I'm Shamar Moth here with a quick prophecy in short. And, um, Today is Tuesday, January the 16th, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, as dubbed through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shah by the elder apostle Tahar. Okay, and it was a perfect title, all right, uh, for this year because things are shaping up, all right, uh, and things are coming together, all right, and Lord wills. I don't want to write this out. This is the year, okay, that Esau, Edom, all right, beginning with Amalek, the fake J-O-O-Z, international banking families, this is the year that they declare martial law, shut this place down, okay, and Lord Wills, I don't want to write this out. This is the year that World War Three spreads, all right, into, 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 into Europe and into the so-called United States of America, which is known as as Babylon the Great in the scriptures. Lord Wills, I don't want to write this out. This is the year of SHTF in this damn shithole. All right. And, you know, all the men of the Lord, the, the, the hopeful elect, you know, the men who were signing and crying on the highways and hedges throughout the four winds, they want to work at the Lord. I'm going to begin with the Elder Apostle, Great Millstone on down. All right, all the men, all right, are saying the same thing. Okay, that there's so many things taking place right now, all right, throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, from a geopolitical standpoint, you know, et cetera, et cetera, that it's hard to keep up. All right, but the Lord has us. Standing on our spiritual watchtowers, okay, uh, pursuant to Isaiah the 62nd chapter, all right, and he has us blowing the trumpet in Zion, warning you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, who are the Lord's chosen people in the earth, the Hebrew Israelites, along with you speckled birds, as well as foreigners, that trouble's coming, that danger's coming, man, that Jacob's trouble's coming, okay, that destruction, complete annihilation, is in fact coming to the shores of America. All right, and we're the only ones, okay, who are consistently, you know, sending out that, that warning, okay? Um, you can see the headline right here, right? Iran launches missile strikes in Iraq and Syria, citing security threats. And this was posted today on Al Jazeera.com, so I'm just going to get into it. Grab up a, a couple of precepts. They're not going to be long at all, Lord willing. You'll be edified. Yeah, the time is now, man. You know, the Bible says now is the day. You know, the Bible says, you know, to call upon the name of the Lord, you know, when you're running out of time. You know, you're running out of time to call on Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Okay, the Lord, the Lord is long suffering, all right, not willing that any should perish, but that all Israel would come to repentance. Okay. But his his uh his patience is gonna wear wear thin soon, and that's gonna he, at some point you know he's gonna put it into all your your foolishness and all your stupidity, okay, by removing this word off the internet and shutting down this ministry, okay, because we're not gonna be out here teaching much longer. I mean, there has to be a famine out here in this word, pursuant to Amos the eighth chapter verses eleven through thirteen. Okay, so as they say in the world, you know, time is of the essence. Now, now more than ever, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, launched ballistic missiles at what it claimed were Israeli, quote, spy headquarters, end quote, in Iraq's Kurdish region and hit targets allegedly linked to ISIL or ISIS. OK, which <clears throat> everybody knows, all right, that <laughs> that ISIS is an acronym which stands for Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. It's a proxy of Amalek set up, OK, funded by Mossad and, and the fake J-O-Z, okay? It says, allegedly 
a link to ISIL, ISIS in northern Syria saying it was defending its security and countering terrorism. And uh, who are the real terrorists in the earth, right? The real, the real terrorists in the earth are the Edomites. Now, ultimately, Yah Bashmi Al is the king of terrors, okay? But he uses Esau, all right, under the spiritual demon Satan on the left side, all right, to, uh, to act as his sword. Okay, the wicked man, and that's um, Psalm chapter seventeen and verse thirteen. All right, uh, I, I don't see Iranian soldiers in Babylon uh, 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 marching up and down the streets. You know, Iranian tanks in in, in America all, all over the earth. I do see, all right, Americans all throughout the four corners of the earth and everyone's land. Okay. Because they they are the uh, uh, hammer of the whole earth, all right, Babylon. And uh, Jeremiah said that through the Spirit, Jeremiah the fiftieth chapter, all right. America, okay, Babylon is the hammer of the whole earth, which is about to be cut asunder and broken. At least eight explosions were heard in Erbil, the capital of Iraq's semi-autonomous Kurdish region, early on Tuesday. Four people were killed and six were wounded. The regional council said, uh, ultimately. ultimately these uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles are, are going to be fired on Babylon, okay? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, in verse 4. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. That's Isaiah all right, describing the mushroom cloud, okay? He, he likened it unto a, a, a scroll being rolled up, okay? Like that smoke billows up into the air. All right, it makes what looks like a, a mushroom, okay? That's what he's talking about, man. This nuclear annihilation is coming, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falls from the, from the vine, so like you, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, and in, in, in the Lord's... Sword. Ultimately, that sword is being spoken of. All right, are these are these missiles, man? Okay. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. All right, uh, a Greek rendering for Edom. All right, Esau, so-called white man, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. All right. Now, when we say the so-called white man, all right, we have to we have to say that because that's what our people understand. OK, but we're, we're talking about Esau and not everyone out here who looks like a so-called white man is an Edomite. Just like not everyone out here that looks like a so-called black man is an Israelite. OK, because you got the elders have spoken on this woman, the, 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 the bishops, the apostles. All right. This woman is running her fucking fat ass mouth. Talking about, you know, the, the men of Great Mills are, are teaching lies. Bitch, okay, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, all right? And the Most High is getting ready to, to, to shut up, okay, you loud mouth, rebellious ass, demonic women, especially those of you among the tribe of Judah, all right? How would uh, y'all going to get the worst being the head tribe? You're not supposed to be out here uh, teaching the scriptures, teaching the word. The fucking nerve of some of you, man. You're supposed to be rising up and hearkening to the testimony of the prophets, man, and listening to what we have to say. Okay? So it says, The sword of the Lord, Yahweh, verse 6, is filled with blood. It is made with fat. It's like it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord, Yahweh, hath a sacrifice in bulls ra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. Okay? Because, because why? Because everything over here outside of the Lord's elect is going to be burnt up on this day, man. Okay. On this great and dreadful day of the Lord that's coming quickly. Okay. Pursuant to Revelation 11 and 14. And the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. That's why all this is taking place, man. For the controversy of Zion, okay? Yasharala, Israel, all right? 
we're we're uh, we're at the end, man. Okay, the Lord is getting ready to judge this place. All right, He's getting ready to annihilate you all, man. Okay, In including uh, okay two thirds of you Israelites. You're not exempt from this punishment, from this judgment that's coming. Okay, it, that's Bible prophecy. It says in Zechariah chapter thirteen and verse eight, right? That the, that two parts shall be cut off and die. Okay, but that third part, all right, is going to be tried. All right, like 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 uh, gold is tried in the in the fire, right? And that third part is going to make it through. That's the hundred forty four thousand, and the remaining of the remnant, which consists of men, women, and children, all right, who believe, man, men, women, and children, Israelites who believe. All right. Again, everyone else, all right, is finished over here in America. Okay, so things continue to escalate over there, you know, in 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 uh in Syria, okay, in Iraq and the Red Sea, etc. in that whole region, okay? This war is spreading. All right? And all you Jakes can think about is 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 the fucking uh, NFL, okay? You're bred in circus. That's what you're content with. You're content in trusting in the shadow of Egypt and relying on this man to take care of you, okay? When all he wants to do is delete you, is wipe you off the face of the earth, man. So I'm going to cut it there. Lord willing, you was edified through the Spirit. Hey, repent or perish, all right? I don't want to write this out. You was edified. I don't want to say Shalom. It's on to the next video.